The final thing I would like to talk about is the process called the Calvin cycle. It can easily be broken down into three subsections of the cycle. The idea of the cycle is three molecules of carbon dioxide separately enter the cycle. Each is fixed to a carbon containing compound in the first part of the cycle, which is called carbon fixation. Shortly after that, the molecules produced from the intermediates are reduced. There is an output from the cycle, and then following that, we have what is known as regeneration. Wherein we regenerate the initial molecule that started our cycle. Okay, so over here at this end, this is where we have our ribulose biphosphate, which is a five carbon sugar. We've got three of these ribulose biphosphates for a total of 15 carbons. Each carbon dioxide that is affixed to one of these creates a six carbon intermediate that's incredibly unstable. During our carbon fixation portion, we're going to have an investment of six molecules of ATP, which ultimately generates six molecules of ADP. Okay, and then when we get to our reduction, we're going to add six molecules of NADPH, generating then six molecules of NADP+. And at this juncture, we now sit with six three-carbon compounds called glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate. We have six molecules of G3P. And as it turns out, glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate is the output of the entire cycle. One of those molecules of glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate leaves the cycle. And if you think about that, this is a three-carbon compound. We put three carbons into the cycle. So this is an equal output to the number of carbons we put in. Okay, at that point in time, we then have five molecules that are three carbon of G3P left. And those molecules, giving us a total of 15 carbons, eventually, with the addition of energy, are ultimately regenerated to our three molecules of ribulose biphosphate. The thing to take away from this whole process, we have fixed the carbons to our carbon-containing compound, ribulose biphosphate. There's an enzyme called Rubisco that is used to fix these carbons on. Okay, we have de degeneration of the intermediate phosphorylation via ATP, reduction by the transfer of electrons from NADPH, oxidizing it into NADP+, which allows us to then ultimately generate our glyceraldehyde-3-phosphate molecules. One of these molecules then leaves the cycle while the other five continue. With the addition of energy, they're then used to regenerate the three five-carbon molecules of ribulose biphosphate, which we can then use again to carry out the cycle. So the input, the ATP, and the NADPH that we have produced during the light-dependent reactions, carbon dioxide abstain, uh, attained from the stoma on the underside of the leaves, and those three things are used in conjunction with the existing carbon compounds here to generate glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate as an output, and then the five that will be used to regenerate our ribulose biphosphate. So that's the Calvin cycle.